Hi, Dr. Barankin here from Toronto Dermatology Centre speaking to you about seborrheic dermatitis or dandruff. This is a very common condition that we see in our clinic. It affects about 10% of the population. It's most common under three months of age, in the teenage years, and between 30 and 60 years of age. Typically, we see uh, redness, flaking, uh, itching, and discomfort, most commonly on the scalp, but we can also see that in the T-zone of the face, as well as the beard area, as well as in and around the ears. Typically, it's felt to be due to a yeast called malassezia that grows on the skin, particularly in areas that have uh, oil-rich um, oil glands. And that would be most commonly, again, on the scalp and on the face, but also sometimes on the middle of the chest. Uh, this is a condition that gets worse if you're under stress. It gets worse with season change, typically worse in the winter. As well, it's uh, something that can flare up when there are nervous or mental health conditions as well. There are a variety of treatment options and the best place to start for scalp seborrheic dermatitis would be shampoos. And the best ingredients to look for would be those that contain tar or selenium sulfide or cyclopyroxolamine or zinc pyrithione. And uh, these are shampoos that you would ideally alternate. So one night, one shampoo, the next night, uh, the next shampoo and so if you have this condition you do want to shampoo more often than you already do. One of my preferred shampoos is the new Seaford Pharmaceuticals Cold Tar Shampoo. This can be used for itchy scalp, flaky scalp such as dandruff and seborrheic dermatitis including mild, moderate and severe cases as well as for psoriasis. Typically the shampoo is used two to three times per week ideally leaving it in the scalp for about five minutes before washing it out and using your preferred conditioner afterwards. And if you have any troubles uh, and the shampoos are not doing the trick for you, definitely come see your dermatologist.